There are a lot of mods out that help game play and add new features, but today I actually just want to talk about the mods that I use that just simply make my life easier in The Sims 4. So today I'm going to be showing you a handful of gameplay um, fixers and also at the end of the video I'll be showing you just a couple of creative sim mods that also make my life easier. So the first thing I want to show you is the faster homework mod by Little Miss Sam. So this mod is going to allow your grade school sims and high school and also university sims do their homework much faster than what they would normally do. So I'm going to have my sim here go ahead and start homework and as you can see it is a flying by no we're not breezing through it but it's literally just faster now I know realistically homework could take some of us hours but if you have a sim in university and high school you know that sometimes it's just a pain so it's just really good to just have that homework complete for the day so that you can free up your sims day because time does move differently in the sims 4 the next mod that I want to talk about is the Choose Your Helmet mod. So originally, The Sims 4 University brought us bikes, but if your sim rode their bike, they would just wear any random helmet. And for me, that was kind of an eyesore. With the addition of the new kids' bikes with Growing Together, Little Miss Sam has made it so that you can also choose your helmet for kids' bikes and for adult bikes as well. So I'm going to have her choose her helmet here look at all of the nice helmets that we can choose from. I think the ladybug is quite cute actually. So we'll do that. And then let's have her practice riding her bike. I will have dad here click on the choose your helmet via his bike and look at all the helmets showing up here and you can just choose which one you want. So I'll probably choose a red one for him as well. And at least I know when he rides his bike, it'll always be that one helmet instead of just random helmets everywhere. But as you can see, she is wearing her cute little ladybug um, helmet and yeah it'll stay that way so i really like that i just want the sims to have a set um helmet and the same for dad the red helmet that we chose is here also so that's good you know that we can have a set <laughs> a set helmet with the addition of infants a mod that i have in game that makes it a lot more easier to care for them is the plumis slow infant needs mod so these needs originally go down quite fast although baby girl here is hungry we just started playing on this lot and it's been a couple of hours however with this mod the needs will actually decay a little bit by what percent i'm not sure but it definitely makes it more easier you see it's not going down too much because by this time, just a couple hours, we'd be down here, honey, and it is a struggle. Another valuable mod that I use is the island notifications. Now, originally, if you have the island living pack, you would not be notified if there was a potluck, if there was um, a competition, or any type of island event that comes with that pack. You just had to look around and see it happening and see the decorations. But here, as the notification states, it says the town potluck is starting. The Sulani town potluck event has started travel to Ohanili Town to join the festivities. So regardless if we live in Oasis Springs, Willow Creek, or if we're actually on the island of Sulani, we'll be able to be notified and we can travel there or be there. Because when I was playing on the island, I would literally miss it. And it's literally right down the street. And there will be decorations and everything right in front of my face. But by that time, the event is almost over. So this is a very old mod. I don't think it needs updating. So I keep it in my game all the time, just in case I do want to attend those events and I don't want to miss them. Next, we move on to the quick shower and bath mod. My sims can take a quick shower or a quick bath. They don't have a bathtub here, but baths take forever. Showers tend to take forever. So with this mod, sims will literally take a shower very, very fast. In fact, I'm going to drop her hygiene in a minute. And I know you just saw me drop this um, through a mod right here. You're like, how did you click on that and drop the hygiene? I'll explain that mod too. Most of you already know, but we'll just focus on this one really quick. So she's about to jump in the shower and literally it's already going up already. And look at how fast this is going. So I love that. Boom. We're, we're done with our shower and that's it. I mean, granted, I know some people might say, oh, this is not realistic, blah, 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 blah. Well, what's realistic is your sim will actually have a towel on after they get out of the shower, forcing you to dress <laughs> and dress them back into their everyday clothes or whatever clothes you'd like them to wear. The next mod is going to require me to buy a microwave and I'm going to get the oldest, dingiest microwave that I can. Microwaves are an appliance that I feel like not a lot of people even use anymore. We just simply cook garden salads all day and call it a day just to make sure our sims are fed. But I love using the microwave sometimes for the kids or the children or just to have a quick bite to eat. But I would hate the fact that any time they'd eat from the microwave, most times it would be disgusting and they'd be like, oh, this is cold in the center. And I know the microwave is not perfect because sometimes I've microwaved things and it didn't come out that great. But 
but I feel like I'm a microwave pro. Like if I have to reheat pizza or some chicken adobo, I can do it and I know exactly what time to put it on. The next mod is called the No Bad Microwave Buff. So that means when she eats this, it's still gonna be good and she's not gonna have any weird reaction to eating microwaved food. Microwaved food. Oh gosh, that was a tongue twister. So she's gonna eat all of this and it's gonna be delicious. Her hunger's full and she, look, Pretty tasty from eating food. That was a fairly tasty dish. So you will no longer have bad microwave mood buffs with this mod installed because who has time for their Sims to feel uncomfortable because they ate some noodles? You know, like it, we we don't have time again <laughs> to, to, to dwell on trivial emotions. So I really find that very helpful. The next mod that I'm going to show you isn't really something that fixes the game per se, but for me it does. If you are someone that likes to take pictures or photos of your Sims, while they're sleeping, <laughs> that kind of sound weird, um, you will love this. So you will no longer have Zs over your Sims head while they sleep. This is just called the no Z, Z, Z mod. I forgot the creator, but everything will be linked. So proper credit will be due. Everything will be linked in the description down below and a link to my Tumblr. Sometimes I like to take cute pictures of my Sims sleeping or something. And I just don't think they need any extraness over their heads to show that they're sleeping. And since we are on the topic of those little animation things, I am going to also show you something else that I um, have a mod for that I've removed. Oh my goodness, baby. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Life with kids. I also have a mod that um, removes the sparkle when you play with your toddler, when you do this animation right here. Come on. So I love taking photos of this. I think it's one of the cutest toddler animations that we have where we can just like throw them around and their cute faces are smiling, but the picture would literally be destroyed by all those sparkles. Again, I feel like The Sims is a whimsical game sometimes and I don't need all of that. So if I'm trying to take a photo, I can just, you know, take it without all the sparkles and all that stuff. I mean, that would that's literally just me though. Again, I'm showing you everything that's in my game. This might not even be something you're worried about, but if you are like, like me, there is a mod out there to remove those sparkles. The next mod that I want to talk about is Little Miss Sam's Go For Walk Feels Needs. This is for your pets here. So if we choose to go for a walk, let me see, let's just go ahead and go on a short walk. So by taking Fabio out for a walk, we will actually be filling up his needs. And that's awesome because sometimes you're just in a pinch and you need your dog to be happy. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on there? Little Miss Sam has add-ons to this mod and I downloaded the add-on where their needs will stay locked for 10 hours. So after this, you know, Fabio's hunger and fun and all of that will be, uh, you know, bladder, all of that will be raised and it'll stay that way for like 10 hours. So that's how sometimes I'm able to like get away with not caring for them too much while I'm filming an LP and stuff because they'll be good after like a walk for a little bit because sometimes if you have a lot of sims in your house it is very hard to fit in time for the dogs and stuff and that's no excuse like in real life we already know like come on like take care of your pets. Now I'm going to show you all another mod which is going to require me to travel to a restaurant really quick. So we're ordering our food and the reason why we are here is because um, I, I have a mod installed where the restaurant actually cooks faster. It's called the Faster Cooking Restaurant mod. It's by Little Miss Sam. It's another kind of tweak in the game. I did have Carl's Dine Out mod, which um, just is incredible, by the way. You can do so much with that mod and it helps the whole dine out process way like it just goes so smooth but it was a pretty heavy mod for what i was looking for i really just wanted to get my food on time really that's all i really want at this point sometimes with this we ordered at what was it like 10 50 or whatever the case may be and we'll see when we get our food i am so tired and used to getting my food at like 12 o'clock midnight and i get to the restaurant at six like taking six hours to get your food isn't cool so look at it it's already 11 10 i feel like that was a great and reasonable wait and i feel like wow like that was quick see and now we're we're eating <laughs> that fast you all like that fast so basically all this mod is going to do is have these chefs cook a little bit faster for you get your food done on time and you can enjoy your meal the next two mods i kind of say for the end of the gameplay fixes because this is a mod that i feel like or two mods that i feel like everyone knows loves and adores but if you don't ui cheats extension and mc command center now, i'm not going to give a full overview over these mods because they could be their own video to be honest with you um however this is what i use them for so i use a mod called the ui cheats extension mod and this mod is what allows me to drag and drop my needs i know i do this a 
lot in my LPs when things get too hectic. And I'll always get a comment or two where people are like, how did you just drag the needs? It's so much simpler than typing in testing cheats on and shift clicking on the sim and then, you know, cheating up their needs and everything. Maybe you might just only want to cheat it up just a little bit to give you more time to recover that need or to satisfy it, I mean. And so you don't really want to cheat, cheat, but you just want to at least give yourself a little bit more time and then you'll actually have your sim go use the bathroom or something. Um, I also use this mod to change the weather. So right now, if I right click um, on this sun right here, I can change the current weather to sunny, partly cloudy, cloudy. I can change the precipitation. And so I tend to use this also, like if I, if I, if it's really cloudy and it's not sunny, <laughs> I'll cheat it up, but maybe I'll make it windy. I'll also use it to right click on household funds here. You can cheat in these simoleons you'd like, the galactic credits if you play with Journey to Batu, the bits and pieces that come with um, Eco Lifestyle if you don't want to you know, find those and rummage for those and, you know, hey, I understand. <laughs> but say I want to add 200 simoleons. So if I hit add it, it'll add that to what I already have. If I hit set it, it'll set it to that amount. So if you want to start off at 200 simoleons, you can, but I'm just going to hit add it so you can just see everything go in there. I also use this mod to edit relationships. So if I want to have an amazing relationship with my baby girl here, again, we're at 48% for our friendship. I want it to be 100. I want my kids to just love me. I can run that cheat and now we are here at 100. If I want to uh, take me and my husband's romance down a notch to like 75, you know, but we have a great friendship, I can do that also. And you'll see that it kind of cheated that down a little bit. So this is perfect for storytellers if you need to cheat relationships. And then really quickly, you can also use it to cheat um, different stages um, in your aspiration. I've done this before when something's been stuck, but normally I do like to complete these. So if you right click on them, it'll show you completed it. Now, it says achieve level five and five skills. Now, will that be true in the skills department? No, it won't be because you cheated it up. So if you do want to cheat your skills, you can right click on existing skills and you can actually cheat them up to whatever you want to do. And this is again, all with the UI cheats mod. Last but not least, what I use this for is by clicking on the career. So if you right click on the career, you can also promote or demote your sims, promote them to the max level. You can change the career branch. So um, if you decided that you actually want to be a food critic instead of an arts critic, you can actually do that as well. Clicking on this again, you, you can also cheat up the level. So you can be level nine, 10, eight, whatever, whichever one you want. I love using this for storytelling. So if I am making a Sims family and everything and I want them to be established too, I quickly go through all of this by using these mods because it's so helpful for me for them to have some sort of background. Um, and so that's UI cheese extension and essentially what I use it for. As you can see here now, it is windy when we changed that earlier we can see the trees moving and everything so there's no glitches there or anything weird it is now a windy day and next i want to talk about mc command center this can be its own video easy but i am just going to talk about it really quick it's going to be able to do the same thing you're going to be able to go to mc cheats you can cheat up uh you know the career you can cheat up um your skills so you can set all your skills to a certain level or you can set um you know a couple of skills to a certain level so what if we say all of these will be six you can set all those skills to level six so you can actually cheat up multiple skills at a time you can cheat up um, degrees this is what i use it for so i go to expansion cheats university cheats and award specific degree if i want her to have a honors diploma in computer science then she'll have that and I'll show you. Here we will see that she has a computer science degree. If you go to sim commands, you can modify them in cast. You can modify their career outfit. This is something that's very big, especially with the sims careers. If your sim wears glasses in their everyday outfit, they won't wear glasses in their career outfit. It doesn't make any sense. You can modify that here. You can um, set their age. You can maintain your sim, which means you can delete, kill, or move sims where you want to. Again, you can click on any sim and use MC command center. So that's why these options are so broad. The main thing I love MC Command Center for is because I can go to MC Dresser and change their outfit without them having to actually use the interaction. So I can click on this outfit and she's already dressed in it. If you can see in the background there, um, but you'll see it when I click out. I also use it for MC Pregnancy. So here we can start a pregnancy. Boom, say I start a pregnancy with Quinto and say I have 
one, <laughs> I'm pregnant with one girl and one boy. I can do that, you know, maximum of two. And here it says pregnant with one male, one female. Um, if your sim is already pregnant, this is also the way that you can find out your baby's gender without having to do anything else. You can cheat the pregnancy phase that the sim is in. You can send her in labor if you want to. You can edit the offspring again if you're not satisfied with what you're having once finding out the gender, whatever. It's your game. I'm not judging you. It's whatever. <laughs> I guess my sim is pregnant now. <laughs> I guess. But yeah, and she's in her new outfit. So that's what I use MC Command Center for really, really quickly. Um, but it's a very, very helpful mod. And that mod can literally be its own video. So please do your research on it. There are plenty of videos about it. Yeah, I really want you all to be aware of the, like how powerful that mod is. You can do so much. And if you're a storyteller, you need that mod. You can't live without it. I'm trying to tell you. Now it's time to move on to the last part of this video, which is going to be showing you a couple of creative sim mods that make my life so much easier. So the first is going to be Simply and Judah's no makeup and no accessories on random sims. So if I make a sim, okay, it would be such a pain to go and to create a sim. They'd have accessories on all types of makeup. It would be so crazy. I'd have to take it all off. But with this mod, as you can see, I'm randomizing sims and they don't have any accessories on and they don't have any makeup. Up on. So anytime I randomize a sim, they just will always be a blank canvas for me. I wish there was a mod that could like take off the clothes too so that I can just or whatever on. But I just love that they don't have a bunch of makeup and accessories and all that stuff. Like I just love being able to go in and start doing my thing. And I feel like this is just a must have for anyone. I get asked this a lot too. How do I have all these columns? It is the Mora Cast Columns mod. You can choose from three, four, and five, I believe. I have four. I don't need it to be too big, but this helps because you can actually see the catalog. Whether or not you use CC or not, there are a lot of, a lot of items in the game now. It's like 2023 and the game's been out since 2014. Lastly, I'm going to show you a skin detail mod that is so helpful. This is the Tidy Details, I believe it's called. Now you see this right here. This is not an object it's just a label it says f head crease it stands for forehead crease so the sims 4 has all of their skin details kind of layered a certain way right if i click this forehead and i click this too i have to choose i can't choose like my skin overlay and this skin detail they don't allow you to do that because this skin de detail is also in the forehead category whether or not you have cc or not your game works like this <laughs> the game actually is separated by different parts of the face so we have forehead crease mouth crease, freckles, dimple left, dimple right, lip mole left, and then we have lip mole right, we have cheek mole left, cheek mole right, and acne. A creator has then separated that for us so that we're not overlapping skin details. So it helps because if I want to use this skin blend, I know that, okay, I can't use anything until I get to the mouth crease part because all of this is under forehead crease. And then on mouth crease, if I want to use these eye bags, then I can use these eye bags. That's very helpful, especially if you're layering a bunch of skin details, you will need it, trust me. And that wraps up everything for today. I hope that these mods make your life easier also. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep simming. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, peace out.